I was extremely, extremely pleased with the performance. Um, I thought the first half performance was magnificent. I thought we controlled the game, we took the ball away from Arsenal. Um, if there's any criticism is when you play that well, you need to reflect it in the scoreline and probably that's that's our next step. I think in the second half, Arsenal put us under massive pressure in the first 10-15 minutes as you would expect playing at home, but it was a little bit not a normal approach, a little bit more direct and, and that opened the game. Uh, we had our chances, they had the chances, then when they scored and I felt that we were growing into the game again, we showed incredible character because it's, it's, it's all too good, play well, sometimes you need to cope with with the, the emotional part of the game and it would have been easy to feel sorry uh, about ourselves, but we never did that, we relied a little bit on the quality of a, of a young man with incredible talent like Gerard De Lofeu and, and I think that goal was um, the reward that we, we needed in the performance. But overall, I couldn't be happier with the week that we had. We went to Old Trafford, we played extremely well and we won. Um, I thought we came here and we played even better. And, and that for me pleases me because it shows that we got rid of that mental block of going away from home into the sides that they're challenging for the title and, and being able to be ourselves. So it's a, it's a massive, massive step forward towards, towards where we want to get. Can we just ask you about um, Ross Barkley's performance as well? I mean, obviously a lot of England fans are excited by that kind of display. But you, you've given him the freedom to play his natural game, haven't you? Was that hard to do with such a young player? Was that a big decision for you? Mm, no, I remember when when you deal with players, you don't deal with, with their age or, or how old they are or the experiences that they had. Ross is an incredible uh, person. I think he's so mature and he's got real love for the game. Yeah. I never, I've never seen an English player with that sort of uh, mentality. And I work, I had the privilege with, to work with many youngsters that they, they've been very successful. Uh, Rob is quite unique in that department. I think uh, we needed to find a, a role for him to be really specific of the ball and then to be able to be himself and express himself. And I, I just, uh, I've got a, a great admiration for Ross. He's got incredible potential. I think we need to give him time and it, we need to accept as a as a real English diamond of our football. He's not ready yet and we need to accept that it's going to take time, but he's got absolutely everything to, to mark a real either in our football. When you say it's not ready yet, do you, do you mean we should be patient? I mean, yeah. the World Cup ahead, we're obviously going to be talking about him in World Cup. <coughs> well, I think obviously uh, the manager of England, uh, Roy Hodgson, needs to decide what role he needs, uh, Ross, if he's any. Um, what we need to make sure is that we give Ross another 50 games or 50 starts at least to see his evolution. Remember that uh, any player with talent needs to develop an understanding and a know-how to be effective. And I think that's what Ross needs. I think there are all the youngsters in that pitch that I could say the same about. But I think as a country we need to be a little bit more protective of our youngsters because we're talking about someone that if we look after him properly, it could give us something unique into the English game and, and, and the nation. Is it helpful, Roberto, when Gary Lineker tweets that there's a bit of the Gaza about him, saying he's got the same ability to glide past opponents? Well, I, th I think it's, a, it's an interesting um, uh, topic. Um, I've seen Ross Barkley, uh, 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 at times I see bits of, of Balak, at times I see bits of, of Gaza. Um, that's a bit is for us to make those comparisons. I can guarantee you that Ross Barkley is, is quite unique. It's Ross Barkley because he's got incredible balance with both feet, really strong, really powerful. He's developing uh, an incredible awareness around him, which that was important. But technically, he's, he's someone that you could compare him against any other nation in terms of the young Brazilians or, or Dutch or even Spanish players. So he's got that gift and that talent. But I think it's always it's always good when you get people that they love the game and they give their own opinion on how they see Ross Barkley. Is is as long as we give him time and we respect him that he's got development in front of him, he's fine. You, you touched on that.